Hello, this is Teresa. I'm going to be sharing this tutorial on this copy card and I'm using the new Ghost Ink 2.0 from Renea. I'm starting off with my background which will be on this mocha slash gold glossy foiled paper. But before I get to that I'm going to show the little charms that I put together using several different colors of foiled paper. I used the emerald gold glossy, the sapphire gold glossy, fuchsia gold glossy, ruby gold glossy on all the little die cut charms. And so now I'm moving on to the background. I'm going to be using the ghost ink and putting that all over that background stamp. And it's a coffee bean background that will really complement all my little coffee charms there on the right hand side. So once I've gotten that background good and inked up, I'm going to take my the mocha side of the glossy foiled paper, put it straight down on that background stamp, hold it in place and rub all over the background and try my best not to move the paper at all while I'm transferring the ink over to the background. And with this new formulation, it only takes 10 seconds of dry time or waiting time before you can start to wipe off and remove, remove the color from the foil. And it is totally awesome. This is so much better formulation than the first iteration of this Ghost Ink. I really highly recommend it for this effect. It really takes no effort at all to remove it from the background as you can see. And then I'll trim this down just a little bit so it will fit onto an A2 size card front. I'm going to be using a craft cardstock uh, card base to put this on. So now I'm just showing you a close-up of what it looks like with the ink removed. And you can see my coffee bean background is going to be the perfect complement for my card. So as I said earlier, I'm going to be trimming this down so it will fit in on an A2 size card base with just a little bit of the craft uh, colored card stock framing it around the edges. And then I'm going to... And just in case you didn't add this, all the little I charms have a in the coupon code that which I will be sharing below in, in the description. So you can go to the Renea store and save 10% off your order using my coupon code that's in the comments below. Well, back to the video. I'm now adding my background to the card panel. And then I'm going to create a band to go across the front out of corrugated paper. This is one of my favorite things to add a little bit of texture and dimension to cards. So I'm just pulling off a piece of the natural colored craft corrugated paper and I'll cut off a strip of about one to one and a half inches and then I'll add the little copy charms and a sentiment to that. So now I have another piece of that mocha slash gold glossy foiled paper. I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto the paper and I'm going to do it a second time because I felt like it moved whenever I stamped it down. So I'm doing it one more time and then I'll give it 10 seconds before I just start wiping off the ink and then I'll have a, a sentiment. And after preparing that, I'm going to get a small square die and just cut that sentiment out. And it will go on top of that corrugated band that I cut out earlier to go on the card front. And then I'll arrange all those cute little coffee charms that I die cut out earlier on top of the card. And after die cutting that piece, I added some foam tape on the back of it to pop it up and applying it to the center of that band that I put on the card. And then the next thing I do is start arranging my coffee charms until I'm satisfied with the placement and then I'll glue those down and that will complete the card. Thank you so much for stopping by today to watch this video. Here are some other suggestions for you. See you next time.